The lesson for today is Grade 6, Module 1, Lesson 1. In today's lesson, we will be reviewing positive and negative integers and finding their opposites. Let's review some vocabulary. Integers are the set of all whole numbers and their opposites. If we look at the number line here, you can see that integers include positive numbers to the right of zero on a number line and negative numbers to the left of zero on the number line. Opposites are the same distance from zero on a number line, but in different directions. For the example here, you can see that negative three and three are opposites because each number is three units from zero on a number line. So you can see that three is three units to the right, and you can see that negative three is three units from the left. Let's practice a few. Write the opposite of each integer. Graph each opposite on the number line below. If I have the integer negative two, I'm going to go ahead and think of what is the opposite. Negative two is right here on my number line. And I know that is two units from zero. So I know that the opposite will then be two units to the right. So the opposite of a negative two is a positive two. If I'm looking at the integer eight and it says, write the opposite and graph it, I know that eight is my integer here. And I know that the opposite of eight will be a negative eight and then I can graph that by writing a dot. Pause the video and try to think about this on your own and see if you can tell me what the opposite of three is and graph that on a number line and the opposite of negative five and graph that on the number line. So hopefully you were able to practice these on your own. So if you have positive three, which is right here, three units from zero, then we know that the opposite of a positive three would be negative three. And if I have negative five here on the number line, I know that is five units to the left. So the opposite of that would be going five units to the right. So that would be a positive five. And if you can see here, there's a pattern. And you can see that we are, when we find the opposite, we are changing the sign. You can also look at it as that these, all these numbers, a negative two and a positive two, have the same absolute value, but a different sign. So you have a positive eight and a negative eight, positive three and a negative three, a negative five and a positive five. Those are all opposites. Now let's try a word problem. On Monday, Logan deposits $20 in his checking account. On Tuesday, he buys a sandwich for $6. On Friday, he withdraws $50. Write the integers that represent the transactions Logan has made. So let's look at the first one. When you deposit something into a bank account, we want to think of that as a positive 20. So that's my first integer there. On Tuesday, he buys a sandwich for $6. So when you buy a sandwich, you are spending money and you're taking it out of your account. So the integer to represent that would be a negative six because he's buying something. On Friday, he withdraws $50. Withdraws means we're taking money out of the account. So the integer to represent that would be negative. 50. Well, I hope this explains integers and opposites well. Have a great day.